right, what is up guys? And of course always, welcome back to another OU battle versus Luke. And uh, <laughs> first and foremost, wonderful team. Jinx, thank you, that, that's actually great. And uh, besides that, this team looks naturally rough and tough. Because Galventula is very, very rough on me. And Regilecki is after all Regilecki. So I'm going to lead off with Arangel. I think he has two really strong leads in both Aerodactyl Galventula. And um, I think if Aerodactyl is the lead, then um, it's naturally tough, but it's not impossible. I don't see a spin blocker, which means the Blastoise will be useful for possible spinning. And also to Luke, good luck. Have fun, man. Um, this is going to be tough. Good. This looks to be like the teams I've been looking for, like really, really strong synergized teams. Starts off with Galventula, which is both good and bad. Good part here is that um, I can get a very strong U-turn on this, predicting him to be uh, more likely um, stick with variants. And we do all right, damage. So either he go in for attack, or more likely he'll actually just do the easy play, which is setting up the webs. Gonna send A Wing go for Choice Bandit quick attack as he gets the web, but oh, oh, yes! I'll take it. <laughs> Ew, whack! There you go, nothing to it. <laughs> that worked. I, I'm very happy not to be able or forced to deal with webs. That said, there are a few Pokemon here that come in naturally, but having Galventual out is good without it doing anything. Aerodactyl. Now, there are two issues with Aerodactyl. First and foremost, it could be the Stealth Rock variant, which by the way hurts me a lot. The other aspect is... Um, that's the thing, like it carries Earthquake usually. If it's Dragon Dance with um, Dragon Dance variant, then I'm kind of in trouble. If it is a Stealth Rock variant, then I'm alright, but it's not good. Um, let's see. On head. Yeah, we got the best of that. Um, really don't like switching into this though. Let's see. How free is my Scalds? I see the dry skin jinx though, I see it. It has to come in here. <laughs> I'm s oh, he was Dragon Dance. Damn it. <laughs> I was like, jinx is such an easy play. Then again, you know, I'll, I'll do Toxic. Do you have anything here that takes on Aerodactyl naturally? Having a timer is good, but... Um, so it's Dual Wing Beat, most likely Earthquake, and On Head. Which is a good combination. Um, seen with Aqua Tail before also. Um, after plus one, I have nothing to outspeed it. I only have a safe, like, switching in uh, Bullet Punch Metagross, so that's what we're gonna do. Here comes a Rock Slide. Damn, don't get a flinch on me, that would be phenomenal. You, I'm... Oh! Oh! Wow! Yeah, that did a lot. That did a whole lot, actually. Pretty surprised we don't see... Um, those X-ray is nice. Um, priority hits you like never before. Um, pretty surprised now, like I said, I was gonna say um, that it, we didn't see Stone Edge. I think Stone Edge is overall the more secure move, but I also definitely understand the reason for using something like uh, um, Rock Slide to really hopefully get the guarantee hits. I can respect there. There comes the Jinx. Now, has the thing. <laughs> Lovely kiss is an absolute thing. I have nothing to switch into this. So, I'm bullet punching here. Come on, Metagross. At least. Oh. Ooh. Wait, no. No. He wasn't sashed. You're usually are running sash after all. Okay. There we go. I'm sorry, Luke. <laughs> I really am. 
Anyway, guys, as always, thank you for watching. Um, sometimes we have one of these games. Uh, if I upload it, I upload it because of the DC alone. But uh, hey, Metagross just came in and sealed its fate. So, with that said, as always, guys, thank you for watching and have a great day, everyone. Take care.